Turning now to a neighborhood crime alert in Fernandina Beach. A high-speed chase ends with stolen cars crashing into a homeowner's vehicles. Police say three teenagers are now facing charges, including 18-year-old Tyree Wilkerson. He's now charged with resisting an officer and is being held mm -hmm. on a violation of probation warrant from Georgia. The other two suspects are minors, a 15-year-old boy and a 17-year-old girl. News for Jack's reporter Corley Peel joining us live in Nassau County. Corley, what kind of damage do police say the teens caused? There was a lot of damage and Fernandina Beach police are investigating this case. However, Tyree Wilkerson is being held here in Nassau County Jail. I spoke with a man who says two of his cars were totaled after a stolen car crashed into his driveway this morning. He says it was a wake up, wake up call he did not need. This is the aftermath of a stolen car high speed chase that Greg Dillingham woke up to find outside his Fernandina Beach home Thursday morning. And we heard a loud bang and then we came out and it looked like a tornado had hit the, the area. That's what we thought. The crime began around 4 a.m. when police say an officer noticed two cars driving at a high rated speed without their lights on near Jasmine and Citrona. The officer chased the cars, but the drivers got away. A short time later, officers found one of the suspect's cars in Dillingham's driveway. You can still see the tire marks here in Dillingham's driveway, where he says the suspect crashed into two of his cars, knocking one of them in the middle of the street. The second suspect's car was found abandoned near North Fletcher, according to police. Investigators learned both cars were stolen out of Nassau and Camden counties. What do you think about the fact that those cars were stolen? Um, boy, I really made it hard on us. Somebody stealing a car and then wrecking my cars, and now I'm left with all the damages. Officers later took 18 year old Tyree Wilkerson and two other teens into custody after neighbors noticed them acting suspicious near their properties. Do you have anything you'd want them to know? Uh, that they made it very tough on, on, on people that just didn't really need, need it right now. Dillingham says it will be a long road to recovery, knowing insurance will only cover one of his two cars destroyed in the crash. Although the three teens have been arrested, police are not sure if more suspects could be out there. They're asking for people living in the north end of Fernandina Beach to stay vigilant. If you see anything suspicious or if you know anything about this crime, you're urged to call the Fernandina Beach Police Department. Reporting live from Nassau County, Corley PL Channel 4, The Local Station.